Today at the state capitol, lawmakers in the Assembly and Senate were in session to consider a number of bills, including the governor's workforce package, the Burr's funding bill, and a bill that bans gender-affirming surgery. Our political reporter, Darielle Fair, has been monitoring developments in the legislature all day. She joins us live now with the latest after the Senate passed an amendment to the governor's workforce development package. And Darielle, it does not contain the investments in child care that Democrats and the governor wanted. Yes, Sarah, today Senate Democrats announced plans to introduce an amendment that would restore permanent funding to the Child Care Counts program following Governor Evers' plans to use that funding from COVID-19 COVID relief funding um, to move forward with that bill. Rather than listening to child care providers and families who traveled from all areas of Wisconsin to testify for more than three hours in support of the governor's proposal, legislative Republicans have denied Democrats the ability to debate this proposal during an executive session and adopted an amendment by paper ballot. And that's on Monday, a Senate committee voted to adopt an amendment to the bill excluding $365 million Evers proposed to fund the program. Senate Republicans are revisiting a series of tax cuts from their tax plan introduced in August. The amendment allows residents qualifying for a child independent tax credit to claim additional relief and establishes a program for child care centers to become certified providers. Senate Majority, Majority Leader David Lemonhue argued Evers could have made the decision sooner, but instead chose to play political games. We don't need to grow the size of government. We simply don't, Mr. President, <clears throat> or make pandemic era subsidies permanent. Um, and as we saw yesterday, he just could actually do that himself. Now the bill heads to the assembly. At this point, the governor is likely to veto that package. Live at the Capitol, Dario Fair, 27 News.